thing, there are just so many people online. So many people online talk about keto and so much misinformation out there. You shouldn't even trust me. What you need to do is you just need to do your due diligence. If keto seems too easy, right? Oh, I get to eat as much cheese as I want and like just gob some nuts all the time. If I feel like I can have cheat meals and drink alcohol on it and uh, work out like crazy monster and work out at night and still adapt, go for it. Go get your glucometer, do your tests, get rid of the urine strips, do your test and let's see if you're adapting. Write a journal of your appetite, sleep quality. Oh, go get a um, reproductive hormone test, yeah? Check, and check your, guys, check your testosterone. You know, give yourself three months of eating really all these foods, all these hyperallergenic foods, work out at night, train to failure, fast, carb load, do all of that, and let's just see where your testosterone is at. You know, a couple months, that's all it takes, right? <laughs> a lot of misinformation out there. I mean, everybody thinks that they're a darn keto expert. You have to be constantly learning. I'm constantly learning. I'm considered an expert, but I'll tell you one thing. I am not going to make things easy for people. I'm considered strict for a reason. My carb tolerance is high. My adrenals are fine. My thyroid is amaze balls. Uh, my, uh, my sleep is amazing because I know how to do it. Reproductive hormones, really? That's... Reproductive hormones is what's keeping me young, especially the best of me, right? Um, at least there's some proof in the pudding. At least I'm not talking about keto. You guys can see me in videos going back, I don't know, five, six years. You're, you're just going to see consistent health. I'm not vascular, as you can see. I'm not full of veins. Skin is still soft. There's fat and then uh, subcutaneous fats. It's fabulous. Love it, right? I'm not like super all uh, granny apple in the face because I refuse, <laughs> refuse to do all those things and allow toxins and refeeding and all this kind of stuff to enter this clean machine. I could though. I could have bread. I don't have celiac disease or celiac spore. I don't have that. I don't have a, I mean, everybody's got, I don't have a dysbiosis. I don't have things that are overgrowth. <laughs> You have to look at all of these things, guys. Thyroid, good. And we got sirens, because you know that's my brand. We're all in an emergency state. We need to be woken up. The point is, guys, do your due diligence. Take people like me and anyone else that you would follow online and research. If it doesn't make, don't try to make data fit where you want it to. Remember, a lot of these doctors, it's subjective uh, anal analysis. Well, Steve Finney and Jeff Bullock figured out that you can uh, uh, use ketone bodies within the Krebs cycle and in the brain. It's a proven fact. But they used a lot of endurance athletes. I mean, we're talking about people who, got, who have metabolic damage. Most of you guys have some kind of metabolic damage. Most of you. And, and it mass manifests in all kinds of ways. Sore all the time post-workout. Um, uh, uh, tired, wired, um, <laughs> um, have a difficulty to grow, uh, drop your body fat, um, crashing, adrenal, um, nausea, post-workout, um, super hungry, cranky, hypoglycemia, um, to more serious disease or like, you know, low T or women who are estrogen dominant, to not being able to sleep properly, which I think I already mentioned, um, to like rashes and scalp and dandruff and skin issues and all this kind of stuff. It manifests to constipation, to, to serious things like PCOS, insulin resistance, diabetes, heart disease, um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, osteoarthritis, to, um, there's a lot, I know. There's to depression, mood disorder, um, poor impulse control, to, Mention crumbs. A lot of you guys have ulcerative colitis, to PCOS. No, I said PCOS. To IBS. To um, uh, 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 there's a lot of things. Just 
She's fucking a lot. A lot of stuff that we're all going through. Um, histamine intolerance, a lot of you guys have digestive issues, leaky gut. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Teeth issues, we have people's teeth are falling apart, their gums are they're like, you know, at the oral surgeon, like there's all these menstrual cycle issues. The list goes on and on and on and on. So when you go online trying to do a ketogenic protocol, you want to make sure that if people are telling you what you want to hear, they're probably full of shite. I'm telling people what they don't want to hear so they can go, what? We can't say that. We're... People are like so hard, like pissed at the stuff I say. Most of the stuff I say avoid, like, you know, allergenic foods like cheese and nuts, I can have, but I don't. I get my data from you guys, from you. That's it. Person after person after person. Consultation after consultation after consultation after consult over and over and over and over and over again and you start to see all of society, not just endurance athletes. You get all ranges, all religious backgrounds, people who don't eat pork, to people who do Ramadan, to whomever. You get it, I get it. People who are vegan, vegetarian, you name it, I get it. And um, with especially with the histamine intolerance. You really learn. People got cancer, it's gnarly. Autoimmune disorders, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, lupus, like you name it, I get it. Leukemia, nonstop, all day. Boom, 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 boom. Kidney disorders, all day. So with that said, I want you guys to do more research. Every time I ask people, um, I, had, I had another client this morning, she, she was like, I just do, I live out in the country and I get like free range, I do my own hunting, everything I eat is organic, free range, healthy animals, I'm getting the best quality, omega-3, blah, 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 blah. And then she asked me if being on the birth control was good. And I was like, hmm, synthetic hormone, hormone that is microdosed out to whatever number that doesn't fit your particular DNA, your genetics and uh, suppresses your progesterone, the happy hormone that fights cancer, and you become estrogen dominant, and you only eat things that are natural, but you're gonna to wanna to do birth control pill, I'm like, people, it's not, it's not like, it's not quantum mechanics. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not talking about string theory here. I'm just saying, quality foods, stay away from things that are or hormone exogenous, be careful with the exogenous sources of everything. Learn as much as possible how the body works. That's just all I did. I went and read a lot about the body and then I actually started talking to people. I was like, get out of town. This connects with this, connects with this person, connects with this issue, connects with this issue, with the caffeine, the adrenal insufficiencies, right? And the hypoglycemia, the crashing, and the waking up in the middle of the night, the peeing all the time, man with your prostate, and the list goes on. This is the mother second business. This is eight years, guys. Eight years. Eight years on this biatch. Eight years. Everything has gotten better. When people ask for before and after pictures, my body just gets better. Hunger. I can just relax, you know? I can just enjoy life. I don't have to be consumed about the, 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 the outer body. I just have to do work on the inner self. That's all I need to do now, right? I just need to stay calm in all of this noise and all the sirens and all the craziness and the EMF poisoning and the smog and the toxic water, the plastics and the pesticides. I mean, that's all I need to do is just really keep things pretty chill and clean and keep a good mind because the mind is so connected to the body. So the inner self is really the thing that I work on because my body is on point, hard work. This isn't genetics, guys. This is epigenetics. This is epigenetics. And I got the Peter Pan syndrome. Yeah, I like to skateboard. I like to jump out of airplanes. You know, I like to surf or snowboard or anything that's calisthenics and anything that's just not conventional, like keto, that's me. If you guys want to learn more how to do this thing, most likely the right way. Even though you got to question me as well, got to question everybody. It seems too good to be true with the fasting, the intermittent fasting, the carb loading, and people calling keto and it's not keto, and eating too low fat and, not, and too high protein, poor quality source foods. 
If you guys want to learn more about what I've learned, which is a lot, I get a lot of people into ketosis, you can go to, you can go to stephanieperson.com, Stephanie the Business Person on my Facebook fan page, Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagram, -y. Steph the Business on my Periscope, which I'm going to do right now. Business is spelled B-I-Z-N-E-S-S. -S. Twitter is also the same name. I can't stand social media, but it has its place in our new reality. And today's so beautiful, I can't wait to get outside. Today is so beautiful, I can't wait to get outside. And I got energy, 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 energy all day long. Metabolic strength, yeah? Epi-freaking-genetics. That's what it's about. Peace, guys.